Cyberpunk 2077 Patch 1.61 makes loads of changes. Cyberpunk 2077 Patch 1.61 is rolling out which makes loads of changes for PC and consoles. Even Google Stadia gets some love. Patch 1.61 for Cyberpunk 2077 makes over 50 fixes and improvements to the CD Projekt Red Sci-Fi RPG. Fixes include issues related to cross-saves and frame rates, as well as an infinite money glitch and more. Cyberpunk 2077 Patch 1.61 gets platform-specific fixes. Patch 1.61 also makes various platform-specific fixes too for PC, consoles as well as Google Stadia. Fixes on PC-related are to frame rate, achievements not popping on the Epic Games Store, and even a fix that stops the game from crashing when upgrading a higher-tier item. Elsewhere on consoles, the aforementioned cross-save issue has been fixed which prevents saves from transferring properly from Xbox One to PC or PlayStation. As for the demising Google Stadia, a fix has been made that prevented the game from pausing during gameplay suspension. Google Stadia is set to close in January 2023. Nonetheless, it's nice that the streaming platform is still being supported by CDPR for the benefit of those that are still exploring Night City. Cyberpunk 2077 Patch 1.61 makes a dramatic comeback. By now we probably all know of the troubled launch of Cyberpunk 2077. A launch so bad that Sony even removed it from the PS Store before it returned six months later. Following its return, Cyberpunk 2077 saw a huge boost in sales on the PS Store. However, it wasn't until the Edge Runners update, Patch 1.6, made massive improvements, bringing it closer to the game it was promised to be. Consequently, Night City saw a consistent concurrent player count of 1 million per day. Cyberpunk 2077 is a sci-fi action RPG based in a dystopian Northern California and revolves around a large city that is called Night City. The city is filled with large-scale corporations and is ruled by capitalism, with technology invading all forms of everyday life. You play as the main character, called V, who has to gain street cred, while at the same time enhancing his weapons and cybernetics to lead a revolution against the corrupt corporations. Throughout the game V is guided by Johnny Silverhand, Keanu Reeves, the original rocker boy, who led a similar revolution in the early 21st century. You have to get from the bottom of the city and rise up to the top, influencing others to rise up. He has to go through all of the six districts of Night City, City Center, Watson, Westbrook, Haywood, Pacifica, and Santo Domingo, to complete missions and take control. Apart from all of this, B also has to take on gangs that fill up Night City. The end goal is to burn down Night City with Johnny. All that is keeping V alive is this chip of immortality that he steals in the beginning of the game. No set storyline. One of the reasons the game took so long to release is the number of choices it has. You can create your own customized V with different looks, cyberware, skills, and perks. It can be a woman or a man, with different bodies, hairstyle, shoes, and more. You can also choose a backstory for the character. Whether you want to make him a nomad, corporate, or a street kid. The backstory you choose will help you get ahead and proceed in a certain style for the game. As a nomad, you will start in the Badlands who later ventures into Night City after his family is reduced to pieces. A street kid is a citizen of Night City, running foul of Night City police. As a corporate, you will work in the Arasaka Corporation as a counterintelligence agent. All of the paths lead to V stealing the immortality chip and running into Johnny Silverhand. There will also be multiple endings to the game. How different each ending will be, what can occur in the epilogue and the ramifications of one's choices is yet to be revealed. But you can keep on replaying the game to see all of the endings. Development Originally titled just Cyberpunk, the 2077 subtitle was added in late 2012, citation needed, during the beginning of production it was reported that a team of 50 people were working on it, 
however after the completion of The Witcher 3 and its subsequent expansion packs, the team has reportedly grown larger, with dozens of jobs being advertised on the CDPR website. In early 2018 it was reported that a new studio had been opened in Wroclaw, Poland to assist in the development of the game. During an interview Powell Sasko, lead quest designer for Cyberpunk 2077, said that the team's biggest inspiration for the story were Akira and Vampire, the Masquerade Bloodlines, and almost every quest in the game tells some part of the world story that you live in. Marketing In 2012 CD Projekt Red announced they had partnered with Mike Pondsmith and acquired the license for a video game set in the cyberpunk pen and paper world. In early 2013, the title reveal and teaser trailer were shown to attract talent to start development of the game. The world premiere was shown at E3 2018, where viewers got a first glimpse at gameplay. The next year, at E3 2019, Keanu Reeves was announced to play Johnny Silverhand as well as showing off a cinematic trailer depicting the events of the prologue. CD Projekt Red later showed more gameplay at Gamescom 2019 as well as announcing a release date for April 2020. In January 2020, it was announced the game had been delayed to September, then November 2020. Due to the outbreak of coronavirus, the 2020 conventions were cancelled and CDPR premiered Night City Wire, where new gameplay was shown as well as the announcements for the Cyberpunk, Edge Runner's Netflix anime and the Dark Horse Trauma Team comic. On October 5, 2020, Cyberpunk 2077's Twitter account confirmed the game officially finished development and has gone gold.